overwhelming, totally overwhelming. Uh, these are my grandsons. This is John. This is Khalil. And I think you'll all understand saying that there's nothing that could make me leave this district except Jahan and Khalil <laughs> and the rest of my family. So I know you all have family and know the importance of family. And I want to start by thanking my family because all the time I was out at those events meant that I wasn't necessarily with my family. So the beauty about my family is they think education is as important as I think education is. So thank you so much for knowing the importance of public education and uh, just being my cheerleaders with everything I did. So I really people, but I do have to begin with Karen, who is um, who worked side by side with me for these 10 years, and uh, my success oh, is largely awesome. because of Karen. I mean, she's really amazing. <laughs> Sometimes they forget the details, and so Karen's the one who took care of the details um, so that we could accomplish everything we needed to on behalf of kids. I think. Um, you shut it off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 a terrific story about what we all do, and that's Kathy Savage. So where are you, Kathy? So Kathy, I did my student teaching with Kathy at Douglas Gardens Elementary School at, in 1973, and then I got a job as a teacher. And um, we've been minimally in touch since, since those years. She's moved the way she now lives in uh, southern, uh, south South Carolina, and um, you know when, when I got this job as a superintendent, I called her up and thanked her because without her really helping me become a great teacher, I could be a superintendent. So everything I do for kids, what you know is that if you play it forward, um, they're going to play it forward, and um, you know it just makes everything a wonderful place. So um, Kathy, thank you for coming all the way. Um, from uh, South Carolina, it means so much to me. And we haven't seen each other for 30 years, and she's staying at the house. <laughs> and here's the deal, when you work on behalf of kids, you have just this incredible bond that it doesn't matter where you've been in between what you know is what the mission is so powerful that the reunions are just amazing. And I think what I also want to do is um, thank this whole community because the way I believe is that this community really cares about their kids. We might not agree on absolutely everything, but we agree that kids are the most important thing to us and that we're going to all work together to make sure our kids have the kind of education so they can be and do everything they want to do. So there's this total community. Thank you so much for each and everything you do on behalf of these kids. They are who they are because of all of us, and of course they're wonderful families. So, you know, I've always said to people, they say, is your job hard? And I say, well, you know, there's hard moments. But whenever I have a hard moment, and Karen knows this, I go sit in a kindergarten classroom. But when I'm in a kindergarten classroom, I see all the possibilities in the world, honestly. It's like nothing can't be achieved for any kindergartner. You just spend a few minutes with them, and they're learning, and they're on fire, and they've got this tremendous, tremendous sense of zest. And all I need to do is spend 15 minutes in a kindergarten classroom, and it's like, whatever the issue is, go get it, because we're going to get it done on behalf of kids. So. I do want to spend just a one minute thanking Ms. White, 
Mike, come up here, Jahan, just stand. No. My grandson, Jahan, is in kindergarten in Springfield School, so Miss White has had to have me in her classroom probably more than ever she wants to have, because I volunteer on Monday and I help the kids write in their journal. And um, what the future has to bring for me is many more hours uh, at Centennial Elementary School just helping my uh, grandkids as they move through through the years. You know, I was a little bit worried about what I was going to do when I retire, but the second graders <laughs> took care of that. Did right? you read all those things outside? I'm just going to put them in a pile, and I'll pick the first one off, and the other says, go to Hawaii. And I'll, <laughs> I'll pick another one up, and it says, take a walk with a panda. <laughs> For me, but I know with a little help from my friends, I can make some cookies. So, um, I've got lots of do things to do. The, the second graders told me what to do. So thank you so much for caring so deeply about the children in our community, for being such a sensational community, and trusting me to be your superintendent for 10 years. You know what they say? They say, you have led with them, you have worked with them, you have toiled with them and you become them, and then nothing will ever be the same again. And that is how it is for me because of you. So thank you so much.